Hi, what's up, my friends? Today, today I will talk about this industrial indicator buzzer. It uh, signs something that is work or not with light and sound. I've already opened it and see an interesting thing. Here we have a cover, little cover, and these contacts. These contacts was soldered in some wires here. I um, I haven't soldered it before and disassembled. Here you have to unscrew the the cover and it reveals something interesting. The composition of it is a little capacitive power supply directly connected to the mains without a fuse okay it's industrial uh, the ac voltage came to through the plug and passed through this resistor in series and this uh, full bridge rectifier electro boom says and it is filtered by this little capacitor here 47 microfarads 25 volts and uh, this resistor is in series in series two to drop the voltage and the current here in series with the mains and something very good and nice to see it that is uh, this ic is a in 555 it's a timer the old-fashioned 555 I locked the the focus but it's a, a 555 a SMD 555 and the timers is made well, uh, by capac capacitors and resistors here I'll show the frequency and after it I will draw the schematic the sign of is composed by a buzzer and two LEDs. Very simple. Uh, it's a metal fax. Metal tax, sorry. BZ twenty two uh, L R two hundred twenty votes okay let put it to work I don't know if it, it works in 127 volts but I'll try yes it work but with a uh, Uh, not too loud sound and not too bright here let's connect it to a 220 transformer to see the no the noise it's louder I don't know if there are, there is a difference, but nice. I'll try to see the frequency now. Stop to measure the frequency. <clears throat> of the buzzer LAG. I think it's uh, a buzzer uh, with inter in integrated sound, like there's a IC here or something that generates that, that tone, not the, this IC generates the tone, it generates on the, the pulses to make the inter intermittent sound.
I will measure it. Uh, let's put let's put it on positive and negative here. Positive uh, negative, like it, it said in it's right wrote on the PCB. Negative and positive. Let's start to measure it now. Put it more security. Security. Uh, attach it. Okay, it only generates pulses here. Like nine volts zero, nine volts zero. So this buzzer is active. Here's the statical image of the signal. How many votes are genera generated by this little power supply here? Let's see. It's the positive and it's the negative. How can I connect the negative? I have to solder something here. Because the I don't get it. It's too dangerous. I have to connect you something here, like a so there a, a piece of wire to connect the jack, the point crocodile. <laughs> Let, I put this piece of wire here, little piece of wire, and solder here to the negative. Uh -uh. My solder station needs the transform to her because in Brazil, the majority of the Power lines are 127 volts nominal. And my solder station, a Chinese one, is 220 volts. Sorry for the mess on my page. But I'm trying to organize it. It's not like a, I like to work, but sometimes it's only I have. <laughs> Let's Put a piece of wire here. I don't have space more here. I need to organize to put something things to to sell. Okay, let's try to connect it. I show you the schematic. After it, okay. It's not a regulated power supply, so then it varies from six volts to ten volts when the buzzer is on or off. Okay, I've me measured the things. Uh, what is the frequency of this little buzzer? I'll try to try to measure measure the with a guitar turner to see the tone. I think it's I don't know. I have to to measure. I'm not so good with music. I'll measure it. But this is very simple. For a uh, industrial st and standard, it's it don't have fuse unless you 
you think that this big giant resistor will burn it before this little one or this full pitch hatch fire i don't know it's very simple very nice to see a 555 on an industrial industrial indicator the okay it's it for now and i will try to do the schematic So here's the schematic of it. There's a capacitor that is the dropping capacitor of the power supply with a parallel resistor of 1 mega ohms to start, discharge it. And it is uh, it's connected to a full bridge hatch fire. And the other side of the mains uh, there are there is a resistor a, a 1k resistor uh, connected to the other pin of the full bridge hatch file on the output of the bridge there is a capacitor uh, 47 microfarads one uh, 25 volts and it is connected straight to the IC, a 551, a 555 one. Uh, the VCC is the pin H, it's this pin. The VCC straight go to this pin and to the pin 4, the control. Mm, the earth ground is connected to pin 1. And that's it for the power supply. Uh, here we have a kind of uh, uh, resistor divider that is connected uh, to the pin 2. In the pin 2, there is a capacitor. Uh, 100 nanofarads one connected with a uh, resistor de uh, 10 mega ohms and in the middle of the resistor divider is connected to the pin 7 okay pin 2 is connected to the pin 6 directly directly the 300 resistor that came from the pin 4 and the VCC is connected together with the 10 mega ohms resistor. Pin 3 is the output of the circuit. It's a S table configuration. Here in pin 5 there's a 10 nanofarads capacitor and 10 nanofarads capacitor, okay. Okay, all the, I've covered all the pins. Okay. This capacitor and these resistors de de determines the oscillation, the frequency of the oscillation on the output. On the output, there is uh, two red LEDs and a buzzer, active buzzer, connectors in series. Each LED, each LED uh, drops 1.7 volts, so 3.4 volts, it's only for the LED, LEDs, and what it is, the rest of the voltage is for the buzzer. Okay, it's a very simple uh, schematic. I'll put the uh, computer draw of the this. It wants to explain. It's a S table, S table 
configuration of the 555 standard configuration okay very simple i i i think that should be a fusible here a fuse here between the line and the all the circuit to protect you more okay that's it line line to face that's the explanation subscribe my channel channel and please like it sorry for my english i'm trying to improve my english my channel and other things so thank you very much do watch it